All right, let's get into a little bit of a discussion. And um, what we're going to do is just kind of look at some information that I took in this afternoon. And um, I was listening to CC Winans um, and the Alvac box. And it took me to a place where I saw so many people judging others. And um, she began to say, you don't know the cost of the oil in my alabaster box. And, you know, so often we have conversations about people and we don't know the background. We don't even know what they went through. We have people that are jealous of others and we don't know the price that they paid to get where they are or even to have what they have. You know, I, I think that we're in a time and a season where it's really a time for us to look at ourselves and stop looking at others. The holdup in our lives is when we look at others, but when we take the stand to look at ourselves, like Michael Jackson said, look at the man in the mirror, not the situation that's going on with your boyfriend or your girlfriend, not the situation that's going on with your children, your finances, your job, but when we look at ourselves in the mirror and we begin to do some self-talk, things can change. So I just want to tell everybody that there's a cost that everyone is paying in life to get to a certain point. Even when you have goals set, it's a cost that you pay to accomplish those goals because you set goals because you haven't acquired them yet. That means that it, it may be a struggle to get to them, but if you set the goals and you have an intention set and you will make the intention by persevering, nothing is ever going to happen by us sitting at home waiting for something to happen. Waiting for something to happen is waiting on you because you are what's happening, you know? And that's the truth. We are what's happening. People are and they're envious of others. You can have whatever you want in life as long as it has been um, selected for you by God. You can't go and take anything that doesn't belong to you, belongs to someone else, you need to step back and look at how you can get something that belongs to you. Envy is people look at you and they want what you have. Why do you get what you are supposed to have rather than looking at someone else? And then, you know, if someone has something that you want, it's not yours, don't try to go at it because you might become disappointed. You do not know the cost that that person has to have whatever it is that you're looking at envy over. Is jealousy hitting? Uh, the dramas that come up? All of it is, is wrapped around, look at me in my life. Look at you in your life. When I do my life and you do yours, we turn up better. So I just want to uh, put that out there because we pay a you know, cost when we persevere and, and when we uh, push forward, when we're creating things, you know, people are not just doing things and it just happens like that. They got to work at it. You know, when you're creating something, you're writing, um, don't get jealous of that person. Look at the time they had to put into creating that book, that kind of, creating that relationship, the ups and downs that they've been through what they decided that they were going to work through. Because a lot of people are not working through things. They just quit going with somebody else. That don't, that don't work. And, and the reason why it's not working is because people are not putting an effort in. When you go to work to get paid, you put an effort in, in most cases, because you want that money. Think about your relationship. Think about a creative idea. Think about, you know, what you're going through right now and the effort that you may need to put into it. 
Okay. And um, that's where your blessing will be at in the effort. And also through prayer, if God had ordained whatever you're looking for you, whatever you're setting the goals and intentions, you know, towards. So on the 2nd of um, October, we're going to do the Aquarius um, class, the workshop with um, anyone that has a sign in Aquarius. And we're going around the world. We did Pisces uh, last week, which was, I think, yeah, last Wednesday, um, September the, the 18th. Yeah. September the 18th, 2019, we did last week, and I wound up having to do another recording because it did not record, and I, you know, I got that on my page on YouTube, so you guys check out YouTube page, um, Kim Warner, and subscribe and tell your friends about it because we're getting some new information, so we're going to be Aquarius, and we're going to be learning about the Aquarian age. Um, there was an Aquarian age before the one that we're getting ready to come in. We'll discuss that. But we'll also discuss information around the Aquarius, like, you know, what Aquarians like and what they don't like, their um, falter um, system and their um, strengthening systems, um, what that sign is equipped with, which is revolutionary uh, for social groups. So. With the Aquarian age in collectively, we're looking at partnerships, making money through partnerships strongly, and um, social um, social groups. You know, people that hadn't been socializing, they will become more social. Uh, uh, we will see more socializing because uh, we're looking at change in our system you know there's been corruption in the system and um we do have a lot of support coming from the universe helping us um, angels and uh the masters um christ and buddha so we'll be discussing even how they come together collectively where um our world leaders and um our leaders have, you know taught us separately we'll learn in their Aquarian age how to integrate and come together and unify because the Piscean age or of separation and individualization um, God really never desired for us to be separate nor for the religions to be separate because when you separate then there's a division and where there's division there's no unity and so we got a truth about what's going going on in order for our people to come to a place where we don't suffer anymore. You know, our people suffer because they lack knowledge. And once we start coming out with knowledge, some people are going to, you know, they're going to realize that they're even going to say that is not God. But where is God when we're teaching love, but it is not holding true? Love is never separated. The world has to become unified in order for the pick God and Jesus Christ had um, explained. Because he said that love conquered a multitude of sin. Sin is simply missing the mark. It's mistakes that we make. Mistakes we make is not coming together and understanding what love is. Love is not um, vaunted. It does not, it's not puffed up. It is not um, so ridiculing that it has to um, tear others down um, from its point of view. Love is simply love, all right? Um, love does not have to conquer people. It does not have to um, throw people away because they don't have the same belief system. Love is accepting and embracing one another for who we are, all right? So... That Aquarian age, you know, it talks about brotherly love, sisterhood, um, universal knowledge. It is Uranus and Saturn actually coming together. Um, it is a energy that stands on a humanitarian cause. Um, it will rebel uh, regarding um, social issues, such as I just spoke of with religion. Um, how can religion be 
divided. And, you know, I'm a person that for, for many years, I would say maybe decades, um, I didn't understand how I could go to church and then say, well, God is love, but then there's prejudice and there's anger, there's hatred. And within the church itself, all of these things and devices are there and people are really not loving each other. They're not unified. Now that doesn't mean that I'm talking that the church is not what it should be or that we shouldn't go to church, I should say. The church is not where it should be because we go with uh, different motives in our heart. But if we begin to look at ourselves and get ourselves in divine order with the word of God, meaning love your brothers and sisters in spite of their faults, then we would be further along in the movement with the church than we are. Look at people and judge them and fault them. That is not the way of, of, of a Christ-like person. It's not the way of a person that practiced Buddhism because at the root of Jesus or, or Buddha and even Muhammad, love is. So, so we, you know, we really have to do some more studying and get out of this here um, mindset that, that our religion is the way, Christianity is the way, the truth, and the life of the accepted Christ. There is a lot of misunderstood information. Jesus loves us all, but he also loves those that came in different forms to educate um, people in populous sub such as Asia or um, South Africa. A lot of these different masters, such as Buddha, uh, Muhammad over in uh, Af Africa or uh, Israel and, you know, those kind of uh, areas, they were there because the culture was there. It, it had nothing to do with the fact that they did not accept Jesus. The cultures had a master for the area they lived in. Anyway, let, let, let's just talk about that another time. Go and do some research because these men that were on the scene came because they found that there was something wrong with so social issues, with the environmental issues that they lived in. And they, they had something that hit their heart that changed and began to speak on the issues, social change was needed. And that's what Aquarius brings, the social change. Aquarius comes in and it says, you know what? All of this other stuff they've been telling you is out the door. There are some truths that you need to study. And that higher octane of Uranus begins to come in because we're open to it and it begins to speak to us and say, listen, there's no division. There's only unity. Come together you and I right now, okay? So the other thing is, um, I just wanted to make sure everyone knew um, that you can go to the bottom of my page and find out how to pay for the class, it's $35. You will need your um, birth chart. Some of the people that work with me will be on, they already have their birth chart, meaning in the natal will, but you can order that and it's $10. Um, the uh, information on how to order will be there. I also do um, astrology uh, profiles. All of this is to help us um, understand where the weaknesses are in our emotional body, in our body. Uh, and it also leads us to understand some of the areas that we need to take on to um, build and even to become a builder and, and, and someone that's going to impact the world. Of course, a lot of the information will help us in our personal lives. But we want to look at the will so that we can see what signs we have in Aquarius. I have some Uranus energy in my chart, but mine is in um, seventh house. And so that means um, until I learned how to understand that, that Uranian energy is kind of funny. It's fickle. It doesn't want to be uh, strapped down. It wants freedom. Once it looks at, the person looks at the house that they're in, and they'll understand how to live with that energy in that house, such as mine with partnerships. Um, I can't be restrained. I will work at a cause, and I will use that because that's part of it. 
um, part of it is socializing and it is partnership where kindness is, but the other part is that I know I cannot allow others to screw down to what they want. It has to be a unified cause for me, but partnership is necessary. So I hope you understand what that explanation means for me so that you can get an idea if you had it in the seventh house. It doesn't mean that your relationship in marriage is not going to work. It means that you have to identify with par partnerships and how you resonate with them and how they resonate with you because you are somewhat of a social, um, you're bringing something new in the areas of partnerships, which is freedom. Tradition that used to be in partnerships with marriage or even um, in family and even in uh, your work area, a person with Uranus is going to um, have ideas of change. They're going to have futuristic ideas to bring in because that's what the energy is um, communicating. Okay, so October the 2nd at 5 o'clock p.m. Pacific, um if you want to come to the class then you will order from the link i have on my youtube and then i'll send you a link to uh, the webinar area that we'll be using okay and my name is kim warner and um you guys have a good evening blessings remember you matter your self-worth matters whatever you think you can do you can do it as long as not violating someone else. We have to understand that when we hurt others, that pain is going to come back to us because it is part of the circle. Everything that we do, 165 degrees, good or bad, it comes, it comes back to us. Planting seeds in our own lives. Bless somebody, help somebody, and you know, get some water and give to the homeless, okay? Bye-bye.